In this video, I am going to show the proof for the theorem if a graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree, then there exists a path joining these two vertices. Let's say we have this graph. Let's say this is graph G with V1 and V2 in which V1 and V2 has odd degree, meaning there are odd number of edges that are incident to V1 and V2. In this case, we have three edges. We have three edges that are incident to V1 and V2, and the rest of the vertices has even degree. Next, by theorem 1.2, both of them, V1 and V2, should lie in the same component of G. Theorem 1.2 states that in every graph, in every graph, so meaning in one graph, there are an even number of vertices of a degree. So meaning, um, if there is an even number of vertices of odd degree, then we can find it, we can find the vertices, we can find the vertices in one graph. So for example, um, for example, in our, uh, in our graph G, so there are two, so it's even, even number of vertices. There are two vertices with a degree. Therefore, we can say that by theorem 1.2, both V1 and V2 belongs to one graph. Or we can also say that V1 and V2 belongs to, um, in one component of G, or in the same component of G. Now, we know that every component of G must be connected. Again, we know that every component of G must be connected. Therefore, uh, when, when a graph is connected, then there is a path among all the vertices in G. Again, when a graph G is connected, all the vertices in G um, will have a path among, among all the vertices in G. Therefore, in this case, we have a path between V1 and V2. Hence, if a graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree, then there exists a path joining these two vertices. And that ends our proof.